Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my March update to the Deck of Panning Project Pan. This was created by Emily, and I do have her link down below. If you look in my description box, I do have several other links down there. I have a link to the game board that you need to play this or participate in this Project Pan. I have a link to the booktuber Maddie, who was Emily's inspiration for this project. And I have a link to Emily's how-to video in case this is your first time seeing this project and you want to know how to participate. It is open to anybody who would like to join. Right now, I am working on five products at a time, so let's go ahead and get started and talk about my progress. The first card that I got was the 10 of Diamonds. At the time, that was Peach Fuzz, which is the Pantone color of the year, so anything that matches that color. For that, I rolled in my Benefit blush in the shade Peachin. I had the goal to use it 10 times. As of the last update, I had used it three times, and over the past month, I have used it an additional seven. So I have hit that goal and used it all 10 times. There is a significant weight jump. Why that is, I have no idea. I didn't pack this on. <laughs> I just used the littlest bit of blush. You don't need very much. It is a very light shade, but it does show up a lot better on my cheeks. Let's see if I can build that up for you a little bit better. Barely. So it's right there. It is a light shade. I'm really happy that I have this shade in my collection. I have hit that goal, so I do need to choose one new card for that. The next prompt was the Jack of Spades, which was a powder product. For that, I rolled in my Sydney Gray single in the shade Golden Rose. Since it was the Jack, I decided to roll it in for a 10 use goal. As of the last update, I had used it once. And over the past month, I've only used it once more. So I still have eight uses to go on this. It's a beautiful shade. I'm just not reaching for it, don't know why. I have some new pink eyeshadows that have been rolled into Project Pants, so hopefully that will encourage me to reach for this one more. Eight more uses to go on that. After one use, no weight change. I don't think anybody's surprised by that. Next was the Jack of Spades again, so another powder product. For that, I rolled in my Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and I did put this in here for a goal to use it 10 times, and over the past month, I have reached for this all 10 times. This is a beautiful formula. I really like this. I do think it is worth the hype. I'm so happy I have this in my collection. There is still so much product in here. There's tons. I think this is a product that I got for free from Influencer for review purposes. I really enjoy this formula. So that is goal number two met for this update. Next was a five of clubs. It said a foundation. So I rolled in my Uoma by Sharon C. Flawless Foundation in the shade White Pearl. This was the five of clubs. So I put it in here for a five use goal. And over the past month, I have reached for it all five times. This is a beautiful formula. I think it's discontinued or you can't get it anymore. I've heard something about this in the beauty community. I don't quite remember. If it is still available, I would purchase this one again. It is gorgeous, love that. So goal number three met. And then the last card I was working on was the Ten of Hearts. It said nostalgic. So I reached for my collab between Glamlite and Kellogg's Frost Flakes. This is the Tough Tiger Matte Lipstick. This was the Ten of Hearts, so I did put it in here for a 10 use goal. Over the past month, I have reached for it only five times, so I do still have five more uses to go. I actually have this on my lips today over a dark brown lip liner that is in my 50 shades of gold. This is the lipstick right here. You can see that brown <laughs> lip liner that I was using with this, and I will give you a swatch. Very pretty color right there. So five more uses to go on this and eight more uses to go on this eyeshadow. So it is time to choose three new cards. I have my deck of cards. I have one joker that I will put in here. Come on, there we go. I will pop the game board up here on the screen and let me start shuffling it. I haven't looked over the game board yet. I have a multi-purpose item, favorite color. For me, that is a dark cranberry red. Influenced brand you own the most from a baby goal. I like that one. Black owned makeup brand, something that is seasonal. Eyeshadows on here. I'm trying to see if there's any new prompts that I don't recognize. Gemstone, maybe that's a new one. Liquid color. I'd have to, maybe that's a randomized color. I'd have to look that one up if I got that prompt. I don't see really anything new, so let me shuffle this one more time. There we go. 
and we'll start drawing cards. The first card, let's see, I'll go right here. That is the Six of Clubs, and that is Spotlight a Panner. Okay, we will shuffle this again. Let's see, we will go from the bottom down here. The Eight of Clubs says, matches your shirt. Okay, I have dark brown, and as you can see, really pretty turquoise color on, and then it does have some cream colored lay, uh, thread on here. That will be interesting, <laughs> okay? And then we'll shuffle this one more time and see what we get right here. This is the Ace of Spades, which says, get out of jail free card. So what does that mean? Okay, that says it's a Monopoly reference. It replaces the veto. I can keep it for the future use. Okay, so I will set this one aside. I get to use that in the future and let's go ahead and pull the game board back up and shuffle one more time. How exciting, I have a veto to use. Okay, right here, the 10 of clubs. I got the six, eight and 10 of clubs. 10 of clubs says a fragrance. So let me choose those three products and I will be right back to show you what we'll be rolling into this project. All right, that took a little bit of time. I have all of my cards laid out here and the products that I chose for each of them. So let's go ahead and get started with the six of clubs. This one says spotlight a panner. The person I want to spotlight is Shelly, and I will have her channel linked down below. She is unapologetically Shelly. She created the same pan last year, Project Pan, and I know she's worked on some other projects as well. I just love Shelly. If you watch her videos, then you know she always talks about <laughs> how she's part of the crazy train. And no matter which project pan she is doing, she always likes to do a music spotlight at the end of the video where she talks about a song or an artist, something that makes her think of this project or she can somehow relate it to whatever she's talking about in that video. And I think that is really sweet. So for Shelly, I went with the musical theme since she tends to tag that onto all of the project updates that she does. And I looked through my nail polishes because Shelly is starting to really get into nail polish and I found one from Vanessa Molina and this is in the shade I think it says let's boogie up it's hard to read the label it's written on a holographic sticker if you can see that but this nail polish is beautiful it looks mostly green but it has a beautiful purple shift to it so this will be in here for Shelly typically I will put this in here for the number of uses it has a six use goal but I like to put nail polishes in for two use goals so I will put this in here for two uses for Shelly the next prompt is eight of clubs and that says matches your shirt. This is a beautiful tropical shirt. It has palm trees on it, has kind of, this is a purpley color. You can see it marbled all through the shirt. This one is a crazy shirt to wear for this prompt, but I found a lippy, Deb actually helped me remind me that I have this. This is a lippy, this collab between Smashbox and I think it's the Bride of Chucky. I'll put the name of it up here on the screen. Can you see this deep, dark purple color? It practically matches my shirt. It is almost spot on exactly. This is the Eight of Clubs. I will put it in here for eight uses and I will give you a swatch of it right here. I love purple lipstick, so that will not be a problem to reach for eight times at all. The next prompt is the Ten of Clubs, which said a fragrance. For that, I reached for a perfume from Skylar. This is Skylar Isle, and I will put this in here for a 10 use goal. This has a very light, beautiful scent. This is a roller ball, so I will use this. I haven't worn this in a while. It smells so nice. This is definitely an appropriate scent for a spring, so 10 uses should not be a problem at all. So for the next update, Having five more uses on this shouldn't be a problem. 10 uses on this perfume, not a problem at all. I'm really behind on painting my nails. We'll see if I can hit this for the next update. If I don't, that's okay. I'll just keep it going through the next one. And I don't know that I'll have eight uses on this. I am trying to work on lots of different lippies to get uses on them. My goal is to work on this one since it has been in the project longer. And this one's just gonna be trucking along ever so slowly until I can get my 10 uses on that. That is my entire update. I hope you enjoyed this. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. 
Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.